Good morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> it is Sunday morning. This is Hayward, our 2000 Sterling flatbed crane truck. Uh, we use it uh, actually yesterday. Ruby and I went and picked up a water tank for home, but we use this for picking up engines. We bought an engine and transmission weighed about 3,000 pounds, and I couldn't have picked that up myself, obviously. Uh, it would have been a pain putting it on a trailer, so we can pick it up with this. Uh, we can pick up solar panels. I picked up another couple pallets this week. Uh, helps us we can pick them up and rotate the forks around to put them up near the roof of a bus. So anyway, uh, Hayward's a great truck, runs well, but the Jake brakes don't work all the time. They're really intermittent, and I wanted to look at those and see if we can figure out what's going on. So Jake brakes, uh, Jacob's brakes are, that's the brand name for compression brakes and compression braking allows you to use the engine uh, with a lot more braking force than just downshifting and keeping it in, you know, idle position. So anyway, the compression brakes really are helpful going downhill, uh, help save your air brakes, your drum brakes on here, uh, keep them from overheating and up here in Flagstaff in this area heading down to Phoenix we've got quite a few hills and they're pretty steep. So I wanted to figure this out. Uh, the Jake brakes, when I turn them on, just blip intermittently. So obviously they have the potential to work, but something is loose or not making a good connection. Something's broken in there that's keeping them from working properly. So the Jake brakes, the compression brakes, have a few switches that tell the brakes, the compression brake, when to come on or activate. Uh, one of those is a clutch brake. So if you have the clutch in, uh, if you are, you know, not in gear like that and you've got the clutch in, then you don't want the Jake brakes coming on. Another is an idle position switch. And I wanted to check the easy things first. So this is the idle position switch right here. I can hear it clicking. So that's a good sign. And odd, oddly, uh, this is the first thing I checked and these wires uh, to the switch, one of them is not connected tightly. Uh, I haven't checked to see if there's a blade in there or not. Maybe that broke off the switch. But if that came unplugged or if it's in there rattling, that would certainly cause the Jake brakes to work intermittently. Pretty uh, cool to find this first off, I guess, because that's a very easy fix uh, if that blade is on there then I can plug that back in and we'll see if it works. So there is still a blade in there, the male portion there on the switch. So that's a good sign. I pulled this out. It was in position over the blade, but that is really loose in there. So if that's on there and just clicking or just touching intermittently, that would certainly cause the issue that I saw, which is Kind of good to know. Uh, it's good to find things that hopefully will be an easy fix. So I've got to get in there and tighten this up with a pair of needle nose pliers and we'll plug it back in. All right, now that this is tightened up and plugged on and pretty secure, uh, we will take it out for a test drive, go down a hill, or at least uh, take our foot off the accelerator and see if the Jake brakes come on.